Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. This is Sandy from Color Creatively, and I have two books on mandalas, uh, mandalas that I am going to give you a flip through. Uh, these are new books for me. Uh, one is your magical mandalas, or mandalas, I should say, that's the way I like to say it, from Alberta Hutchinson from Creative Haven. We're going to be taking a look at this book. And she's an author of Mystical um, Artist of Mystical Mandalas by Dover, but that is a double-sided uh, picture book. And this one is from Creative Haven, which means all the pictures are single-sided. And um, I'm going to have you take a look at Jade Summers' Intricate Man Mandalas, Mandalas Coloring Book. i got to learn to say this one way or the other. So we're going to take a look at this one, too. Let's go ahead and look at the Creative Haven book first by Alberta Hutchinson. As you know, Creative Haven has a picture on the front for you to see as an example and on the back. And there's 30 magical mandalas in here to color. And um, in the front of their book, you'll always find an example of one of the pictures to color. And in the back, you'll find another example of some of the pictures to color. So this gets you a head start on coloring from this book. As you know, they have excellent paper and they're perforated so that you can take these out. So I just want to give you a quick flip through of her book. And some of these patterns are more simple than others, but they're all going to be fun to color in. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I have just started doing mandalas, and this month, at the end of the month, when I show you my completed pages, I have some that I've worked on. I'll give you a preview. I've got a lot to learn, but I'm working ahead on them. And In January of 2020, we will be having a month of mandalas and so I have these books that I will be working out of and I don't know which other ones yet but the because I'm only in October right now so um, I do I did buy these and uh, I saw them and I thought they looked really nice something that I would be interested in coloring and all the different designs and I love the double, uh, the single-sided pictures that are perforated because I like to take my work out of the books and put them in a portfolio in page protectors. And what I've been doing recently is writing on the back here um, which book it's from, the artist, and what mediums that I used on that picture. I hadn't done that, and then I, you know, you do so many you can't remember. So this way I'll have a record also in my portfolio of what I'm doing and the mediums I'm using. This is a really nice book. I'm very pleased with her designs. They're not too complicated, but they're not too simple either. Although some are a little more like this detailed, but that's okay. I'm anxious to do this when I have a color scheme in mind. So I am working on this. I haven't worked on any of these yet. I've been in C.L. Aldridge's Mandela book, working there. And uh, I will be working out of these. Come January, we're going to be having a month of mandalas. This is October 2019. Our theme is Autumn Fall. So any autumn fall pictures we're going to be working on. Okay, that was Magical Mandalas. And the other flip on this is going to be Intricate Mandalas by Jade Summer. She has an example on the front. There is none in the inside the book. There are these uh, pictures on the back to get a feel for what's in here. On this book, they're not perforated, 
and you do have a black back on your pictures. That's for people that use markers that don't want to see the bleed through. I would rather not have the black and have the bleed through. Um, because when using alcohol markers, if you're not careful, sometimes this can come up into your drawing. But other than that, I will give you a flip through here. There's some beautiful mandalas in here. Just really pretty. And these are called intricate, but I don't I don't know that they're they're hard. They would be hard to do at all. They look very interesting, very pretty to me. I love the designs. I think these by Jade Summer are gorgeous. And if you would like, you could take them out of your book, exacto knife them out, and you could print them on other paper. Um, you can use any mediums that you want because they're single-sided. I do like the border around each picture here. I re That's a plus for me in any coloring book. And I don't know how many are in here. It's a pretty thick book. Very happy with this book like it a lot some have flowers some are geometric just a variety and if it's a flower, that doesn't mean you have to color it or paint it that color. You can do any color schemes you want. Uh, flowers lend themselves to this type of art, don't they? I've noticed that in a lot of other books, too. I just um, am eager to look for toward January and be doing mandalas. This is heart-shaped, star-shaped, flower-shaped. I don't know, they're just very nice. Very, very nice. That's an unusual shape. I forgot what they call that shape in geometry. It's like a star. Some really pretty ones in here that I'm looking forward to doing. That's almost the shape of a Christmas ornament. I'm happy I bought this book and the other one from Creative Haven. I'm looking forward to working in each one of these. Putting my alcohol markers and some of my other art supplies to good use. My Caran d'Ache water soluble crayons, watercolor pencils, pastels, you name it. We got to do some backgrounds in these too, and that's what I'm going to be shooting for. I want to decorate the backgrounds on these as I go. Okay, and here's information in the back here about her and her other books. And that was the flip through of Intricate Mandalas Coloring Book by Jade Summer and Magical Mandalas Coloring Book by Alberta Hutchinson. So, I just want to thank you for stopping by, taking a look at these books. I hope that if they're of interest to you, you will buy them. And until we meet again, happy coloring.